in this video we are going to discuss about dynamic routing protocol so what is a dynamic routing protocol and how it functions you see dynamic routing protocol performs the same function as the static routing protocol and static routing protocol functions that allows routing table in specific routers to be set up in a static manner so that the network routes for packets are also set up in the same manner and if a router on the route goes down then the destination will be unreachable so for this reason dynamic routing allows a routing table in routers to change as the possible routes change that means you see when a possible routes changes in the routing table automatically routing table will get updated dynamically so there are several protocols used to support this one which is a dynamic routing and the main protocols are rip and ospf so here if you see here the routing cost also is the main part here to consider and how it is calculated the configure route cost is based on one of the following which is hop count hop count means how many routers that the message must go through to travel to the destination and tyke count so what is this tyke or tick count the time to route in 1 by 18th seconds which are called ticks dynamic routing protocols do not change how routing is performed but it just allow the dynamic altering of the routing table so if you see the classifications of the protocols here the, there are two protocols classified interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol coming to the interior gateway protocol the name it clearly says that the fact each system on the internet chooses the protocol automatically that means the routing protocol will be chosen automatically the rip and ospf are interior gateway protocols and coming to exterior gateway protocol used between two different systems that means this is used between routers of two different systems that is external system and here this is one system which is having internal system there are two types of here exterior gateway protocols one is exterior gateway protocol and border gateway protocol so if you take the daemon routed used for the rip and the daemon gated supports igps and egps so routed is different and gated is different so interior gateway protocol is different exterior gateway protocol is different here so this is about the dynamic routing protocol and its functions